I... I thought he was mad. I thought I could help him. All those ominous imaginings. What were they? Anna. She warned me. She had seen that thing. Seen it in Lucy. She told me about the emptiness and reluctance in her eyes. Why did I not dare to see for myself? Where did they go? Lucy, my darling. Where did Mummy take you? Why didn't she tell me about this? Was she taking you home? Taking you to safety? It was on the road leading away from the castle during my desperate search for my family that I heard it. That voice. The inviting familiarity struck my mind. I was on the wrong track. They had not fled the castle. I know where they are now.
A matchbox. This could come in handy. Here was long, but not at all a bore. I had never seen such beautiful natural vistas. Truly, this land has remained untouched by time and progress. I can only imagine what wonders lay hidden in the deep, unexplored reaches of these forests. We stopped briefly in a village on the way, and were treated with hospitality, although I felt as though we were not entirely welcome there. Speaking with the local people, one gets the idea that this region is haunted. They speak of a great massacre that occurred within recent memory. That, as far as I can tell, ended when a special sacrifice was made. How macabre. They are rather strange, the whole lot of them. They rarely leave their homes and do not seem eager to speak with outsiders. I wonder what they are so fearful of. David tells me that in small rural communities, superstitions tend to be a strong part of cultural identity and assures me that they are just carrying on the same way their ancestors have for centuries. But I'm not entirely certain.
speak of them since we've arrived here. At least I have Lucy. She is too young to be much of a conversationalist, but she keeps me occupied nonetheless. There is always an adventure to be had when she's around. Tonight, we stood outside after darkness had fallen, and I pointed out the different constellations and stars. Her favorite was Polaris, as it shimmers so brightly against the deep cobalt of the night sky. For a fleeting moment, I didn't miss David quite as much, but there was something strange. After a while, I became increasingly aware of a presence nearby. I thought perhaps it was one of the servants, but when I turned to look, there was no one there. I could have sworn I saw a shadow retreat into the tree line, though. start this session with you telling me what you're experiencing, Richard. Ever since the tragic death of my wife, things haven't been the same. Sometimes I still feel her presence in these halls. It's like she's not really gone. I see. The mind often does not accept the loss of a loved one until the soul has had its time to heal. May I ask you how she died? She was really happy in the end. Something was troubling her. She wanted a family, wanted a child, but we couldn't take that step. I didn't have the time. She took her own life after an argument we had.
reason to feel guilt in some way. No. I was always reasonable during our arguments, and stayed calm the entire time. I understand. How often do you see your wife? I can see her now. She's standing right behind you. Really? Is she looking at us? She's looking straight at you, David. for today. I was wondering if I could have your permission to enter the archives. I haven't explored much of the castle, and I was particularly interested in looking through some old documents about this great citadel, as I haven't found a whole lot of information about it in the library. I'm afraid the archives are off limits for at least a month. One of the visitors was murdered in the study area by an uninvited man. His psychotic behavior ever since has been worrying, but have no worries. I can assure you that the criminal has been dealt with. I see, but can you not make an exception? Even if I wanted to, it would be impossible at this point. The archives are filled with workers as it's currently under renovation. It's the largest victim of the unusual storms that have been disassembling these walls ever since the death of my... I advise you go back to your quarters and rest, David. I'm sure this session was just as demanding for you as it was for me.
Elizabeth. It's impossible! Do you have any clear sense about how much energy I have to spend maintaining this colossal stronghold? Are you mad? I can't be a father now!
Is it true that your wife committed self-murder? Did I give you permission to speak, servant? You know what she did to herself. Everyone does. Now proceed with the transportation of the body. And be careful. You should know yourself that these halls are full of noble graves and their spirits. of the castle and the ancient graves of the nobles, unreachable and unimaginable by the normal kind. No well-spirited man has the courage to walk these dark, shadowed corridors. It's perfect.
I can hear the desperate screams of the prisoners scraping the dry inside of their throat. It's the result of this delightful process.
gracefully, me and my ancestors take our turns to torment these poor souls. The noble's mental torture has proven to be even more effective than my physical one. But the prisoners have yet to experience the consolidation of both. This... This will earn my ancestors' respect. This will keep us fulfilled.
Wake up, Anna. It's okay. She's gone now. Come with me. I want to show you a very special place of mine.